hit the subscribe button or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So with this video, we got something a little bit different. What we have here is a mod for my Elvira House of Horrors pinball machine. Now the official name for this is Elvira House of Horrors Apron OLED Display Mod. What is it exactly? Well, it's this little bad boy. And what it does is it replaces a part of the apron on your machine and it plays videos. The videos in question are trailers for the various movies that appear within the game. Now this mod was made by someone who calls himself Doc Quest from the Pinside forums. The cost of this, at least for me, uh, and price may go up, may go down, but uh, when I got it, it's $150 plus $10 shipping. What does it come with? Well, it comes with your main unit, extension cable, power cable, and what I really appreciate, full color physical instructions. Now some mods you get, uh, if it's a well-known company that's making the, the mods, they might refer you to their website um, that's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Some mods, you get them and their instructions are just pictures with very little text and you really have no idea what to do. I went through this. This is a full on, I mean, you got, let's see, one, two, you got five pages, actually more because it's double sided. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine pages of instructions. Now that might be overkill for someone. I myself really prefer physical, something that I can have right, you know, with me that I can take a quick look at. I don't need to, you know, stop what I'm doing, going, looking at my computer or my phone, trying to find the website. So this is really, really appreciated. Uh, don't, I, I look through this, it's very, very, very simple. I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to install the mod on my machine. Had a little bit of a tongue twister there. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. We also get some gum as well as an eyeball for your machine. This I'm not going to install. Um, I think I know where this goes. Now, one thing I do need to point out, uh, it probably won't be relevant by the time you purchase this uh, mod anymore, but when I first got this, there was a typo. Film actually had two eyes. The typo was discovered on the forums. They let uh, Doc Quest know. He actually sent out replacement covers with instructions free of charge. And for, you know, the issue at hand, we also got a little gift. The little gift in question is a magnet of Elvira. That's really cool. I'm going to be putting this on my machine. So let's just get straight to it. We already wasted enough time talking about this. And let's get this bad boy installed. All right, here we are. And the mod in question is actually going to replace this side right here. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty much uh, sure I already went over the cost. It was $150 plus shipping. Uh, if you get one for each side of your apron, you actually do save a little bit of money. There was a discount. I just wanted one. So. First thing we need to do is remove our playfield glass as well as our back glass. So let me get to that. All right, so next thing we want to do is unplug your machine. Even though it's off, yeah, let's just be a little safe. Just because we're dealing with the power supply here on our next step, so unplug the machine. But after you do that, you're going to want to remove the two 1132nd nuts that are holding the power supply cover in place. And we got one right here, and there's one right on the other side over here. You probably can barely see it. So let's go ahead and get to that. 
All right, now with both of those nuts removed, you're just gonna wiggle this bad boy back and forth and it's gonna come right off really nice and simple. Let me go ahead and uh, put this to the side. We won't be needing it just this second. All right, the next step is we actually need to connect our extension cable. Now, you're gonna look for this bad boy right here. It's not connected to anything. It does have a safety plug at the end. And as you can see, it just pops out. Put that to the side. We will install this bad boy. And then we need to route the cable down into the bottom of the cabinet. Now, there's two areas where you can do this. You got one area probably can't see it there's a hole right here and another one over here and we need to focus now as far as connecting the cable I'm kind of at a bad angle here but it's going to go just like this There it is, snapped in. All right, so once that's done, I believe you can put every your everything back together, hook up everything. Um, let me get to the next step. All right, so our power supply cover is back on securely. We got the extension connected to the power supply and it just hangs right underneath right there. So there is really no bottom per se got the extension cable going all the way across and because I have this mod which is going to appear on the left side of the cabinet I decide to route the extension cable to the bottom cabinet through the hole on the left side on the upper back box does that make sense hopefully it does all right so we're gonna put our uh, back box back together and we're actually gonna lift the play field next Okay, so now we got our extension cable that came down the back box into the bottom cabinet. And if you look, you can see that I've, at I've attached it through the nylon cable holder hooks, whatever you want to call them. There's actually two of them, one that you see here and one towards the back. So for me, I just connected them through both. That way it holds everything nice and secure. Everybody got that? All right. Now we go on to the next step. All right, next step, we have to actually remove the apron. Now, in, in order to do that, we're gonna have to remove two screws uh, or two uh, T-nuts, nuts. We're gonna have to remove two things that are on the bottom of the play field. All right, so the first one, right there, that bad boy. It's an 11 32nd nut and it also has a washer the other one is located let's see where is that sucker right there that one let's get to it all right so here we are in uh, front of the apron and there were two screws, one here, one here. We had to remove those. Nothing, not too big, or it's not anything special. There you can see it. Now, once those are gone, you can then pry open and remove your apron. Very nice, huh? And here is the underside. And this is, uh, actually, this side is the one we're going to replace. So, next step. Alright, so we got the apron upside down on a protected surface so we don't cause any damage. Now all we're going to do is remove the original artwork. It's being held together by three one quarter inch uh, nuts. We move those and we're going to tack on the new one. Nothing too uh, complicated here. 
one two and three old artwork pops out now we're going to pop in the new one first thing we're going to do is put our little protector this of course comes with the unit it protects your screen And then we just put everything back. Nice and simple. I don't think you want to see this, but um, yeah, well, whatever. Anyways, let's I'm gonna get this done and we're gonna go back to the next step. Okay, so next step. We can't put the apron back on just yet. We have to adjust this post right here. And in order to do that, we have to put in a smaller post. And at, this, at the same time, we're going to extend the light of where it is now to probably about, oh, I don't know, quarter inch. I guess that's going to give the new decal better lighting. Now, if you don't know or understand, basically, and this is included with the instructions and all this hardware is included with your product. This is what we're going to do. Seems simple enough, so let's get to it. All right, so there we are. Nothing too extravagant, not difficult at all. And now the next step is we're going to reattach our apron. So we're going to put the apron back on, and we got the two T nuts or the two uh, nuts we need to attach on the bottom as well as the two screws that go right here. So let's get to that. Now, in addition to reattaching the apron, we also have to make any adjustments to the position of the LED or the light, whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it. All right, let's get to that. All right, one thing I forgot to point out, step I missed, before you put the apron back on, you want to secure the wire to your mod to the apron. And again, it comes with this piece, this uh, secure, um, whatever you want to call it, as well as uh, tie straps. And yeah, just nice, simple zip ties. What did I say? Tie straps? Wow. So yeah, don't forget to do that. All right, so once we got the apron on, the only other thing to do is secure uh, the, the power cable to the mod and then strap everything down. Now, if you remember, you got our power cable that's connected to our extension cable. And what we do is we run it all the way up and then we connect it to the mod cable. There's the apron, it's coming out and it gets connected right there. You have a lot of slack to work with. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. Now, you should still have three zip ties left, and that's just to secure everything in place. I used one zip tie at the front right there. I used another one to secure it right there, and I use a third one to secure it right there. So, that's it. Now, the only thing to do is focus first. Um, let's try it out and see what, what goes on. All right. Now there, there is one thing, um, I talked about adjusting the, the position of your light after you, well, let me just put this right here. Left side, you want to adjust it to an 11 o'clock position, right side two o'clock position. All right. So let's get going. All right, so we got everything in place. I'm gonna power on the machine and we'll see if this is good to go. Now I don't have the table glass on. It is getting a little dark, so the camera quality is not quite as good as I'd like it to be. But let's go ahead and uh, flip this on. Now 
Nice. The video doesn't do it justice. The video through the camera actually makes it look worse than it is. Look at that. That is really cool. Now, of course, you can't see those black bars um, with the naked eye. You only see that on film, but that is so cool. So, you know, you're going to be playing, and you got this little video going. It doesn't add anything to the game. There's, there isn't any sound. It's just a video, but it is a very cool mod, and I really like it. So, yeah, Dot Quest, very awesome. Very, very awesome. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. Why am I showing the machine? I should be showing this. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>